What is that? What does leaders create creating leaders mean for you? Yeah, for me, um, I want people to, that I mentor to do better than me. So if you're in this thing where like that you want people to do well around you, but you need to do better than them, you're really not leading people. So leadership is really simple. Here's how you lead somebody. Every human being, just even like what you're just describing yourself, is born with their natural giftedness. If you're a person of faith, I believe it was sown into you. But if you just, you could just call it your talent if you don't have faith. So, for example, it could be your ability to communicate, your heart, your spirit, your nurturing skills, your engineering skills, your math skills, your uh, discipline, right? Your whatever it is. You were born with natural giftedness. Here's what a great leader does, and it's you'll be one of the rarest people on earth if you can do this for people. Just get quiet and observe people as a leader. And when you can identify what someone's two or three natural gifts are, and they're things they know intuitively to be true about themselves, and you link that gift to them achieving, you've built a leader. So if I said to you, it's your natural heart to serve people, brother. It's your unbelievable ability to communicate. It's your mom and her background in your ear that whole time supporting you. Giving You link, that's what you're gonna change the world. And you go, that, I, I do have a great mom. I do have a heart to serve. I do have a big spirit. And you link that to them, boom. Because here's the truth in life. Those of you that are listening, on one hand, if you're lucky, probably there's one or two fingers, you can count the person who that when you were a little boy or a little girl made you feel special, knew you were special. Remember them? Just picture their face right now. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Maybe it's your mother or a coach or your grandpa or an uncle or an auntie. And that's the one when you were a little boy or girl, they made you feel special. They knew you were different. They knew you were unique. They saw your blessings. They saw your gifts. Maybe you got one in your life. And when you picture their face, whether they've passed away or are still living, you get emotional. You can picture the times they made you feel that way, can't you? Right? Okay. If you're a great leader, you end up on that hand of thousands of people. So in my life, I want to be that person, one of them they picture. In my life, Ed Milet was this guy who saw how special I was. He saw my gifts. He saw my blessings. He told me over and over again how blessed and gifted I am. And he'd link that to me winning. It wasn't some rah, rah, you're going to do great, man. You're a champion. Go, go, go. No, no, no. It was deep. He would touch me in my spirit. He found my gift and my blessing. And when you're that person, you will be on the hands of someone in their life, one or two places, three places of their entire life. That's what a great leader does. That's why your mom's a great leader. It makes a great mom. What's a great mom? A great mom's someone who loves us, cares about us, believes in us, helps us. Love, care, believe, and help. That's what a leader does. I became a leader for the first time, not when I played baseball, but when I walked into McKinley because I started to love those boys and care about them and believe in them and I helped them and I tell them, Brian, you're a gift, you're so fast, you're so strong, you're so intense, man. He goes, I am, that's why you're gonna win, man. And Marcus, Marcus, it's your heart, you always wanna help everybody, you're such a good teammate, you care about everybody else, you always feed everybody else first. I do, don't I, Eddie? Yes, man, that's why you're gonna win, brother. And Ryan, Ryan, my gosh, you're so strong. You were just born strong, man. Nothing gets you down. You fight all the time in school. And I do, don't I? And then I go over to Leroy and Leroy, man, who's better at math than you? It's so, it's just your now. I am good at math. That's why you're going to win. You're an amazing scientist someday. I am? Yes. And he'd believe it. Same thing with adults. Those people in life stop telling us how special we are when we're about 10. And then you're just in the world and no one tells you anymore. So if you could do that for an adult, for an 18-year-old, for a 20-year-old, for a 25-year-old, they haven't had anybody show up in their life, maybe ever, but for sure for a decade that goes, hey, dude, you're special, man. Let me tell you why you're special. This is what's amazing about you. That's a leader to me. And so I try to spread that everywhere I go. I watch people. I observe people, and then I tell them their gifts. Please.